First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakurash, Thwari Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai for allowing me to do another video through the Spirit, Thwari Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai for giving us his truth as worms, double honors to our apostle and others at Great Millstone and salutation and blessings to the whole elect. I just want to do this video and grab some scriptures on the divide in the U.S. right now, and uh, which there is a divide, rather it's political, gender, or, or racial or religious is a great divide in the U.S. right now. And like the scriptures say, uh, a kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. This kingdom is clearly, uh, it's not going to stand. It's going to it's gonna fall. It's on a steady decline. But this is uh, cultural issues in the 24 election. Immigration, gender identification, racial division, racial diversity, and views on change, and views of a changing society. It says the 2024 presidential campaign is taking place amid uh, intentions in intentious debate over such topic as immigration, growing racial and ethnic. Uh, diversities in the U.S. in the United States, the the ch uh, changing American family, crime, and reproductive issues, wide differences between Biden and Trump support. Uh, and now it's Kamala, because this uh, article came out in June. Trump, uh, Biden and Trump supporters on key critical cultural. Issues in the presidential campaign it says, let's see, blue is Biden and red is Trump. It says gun ownership uh, does more to increase safety by allowing law abiding citizens to per protect themselves. As you know, that's 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 the Trump boys it says the logistics. The the. Yet logistics of slavery affect the the position of black people in America society today a great deal far a uh, fair amount. Of course, that's a the Democratic so called. You know Biden. It says uh, Americans' openness to people from over the world, uh, essentially to who are as a nation. You know that's the Biden people. Someone can be a man or a woman, even if it, even if that is different from the from the sex. You know that's the Biden. They they were assigned at birth. As you know, that's the Biden boys, so called left wing. It says the cr criminal justice system in this country is generally not tough enough on crime cr criminals. You know that's a you know the the red. Uh, society is better off if people make marriage and having children a priority, as you know, because, you know, the so-called uh, Trump administration and what Trump stand for, the so-called right wing. They're more they're more a pre preserving a family, making America great again, things of that nature. And, uh, you know, establishing America as a great country again, while the so-called Democrats uh, they're more, they're more with the whole openness, the, what's going on with black people, things of that nature. And that is a part of this division in this country. The, they're, they're showing you the divide and, and it's not a small division. It's, it's big. It's great. Uh, regions should be kept separate. Uh, religion should be kept separate from government policies. You know, that's the uh, you know, the, the, the left the Biden boys blue because their agenda and, and, and just to say they're all working on the same team. Don't, don't let this shit fool you. And I'm gonna grab the scripture to prove it. It says the gain, the gain women, the gain women's mate, women have in society have come at the expense of, of men. So it says these topics sometimes are grouped together as cultural war 
or woke issues. And it is a war. It's cultural wars. And this is what's going on in, in the U.S. It's, it's creating a great divide. It's dividing the people. And then you can read more of the article. It did. Actually, I, I might keep reading it a little later, but it seems like a decent uh, article. This is from, who is this from? Uh, Pure Research Center. This came out June 6, 2024. And let's grab some of these scriptures. First, let's grab uh, let's grab this real quick. This is uh, Matthew 12 and 24, 25. And Yahweh knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan casts out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall his kingdom stand? And that's because they're saying Yahweh was the devil and things of that nature. But this is a good point that Yahweh Shai was making. If a if the kingdom is divided against itself, it's not going to stand. It's going to fall apart. It's eventually going to, to crumble and collapse. Because one party is going after another thing. One is going against another. It's a tug of war. And that tug of war, eventually the ropes is going to break on both sides. It's going to break down the middle. And it's going to leave both sides falling and desolate. <laughs> and... <laughs> I just made that up through the spirit, but that's really what's going to, what's going to happen when this kingdom is divided as it is now. It's not going to stand. You, you, you I was listening to Elder Yashwam's video. You got these Edomites talking about what was that? Glenn Beck talking about uh how this election is very well the most important election of of people's lives in America because this election is going to change the world. This is going to have a major effect on 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 the world because you have to remember america is a superpower and it, it and it has to maintain that status but you clearly see that it's falling speedily from that status of a world dominant power look at look at the kids look at the people these other nations are looking at america like what the fuck is that it's, it's clearly collapsing and this is what it, and Let's, see, let's, let's keep going down. Verse 27. And if it be a uh, Beelzebub cast out the devil, by whom do, do ye children cast them out? Therefore they shall be your judges. So yeah, that's that's on that. And I want to get this. Matthew 24. Some of you how said also. Really dealing with. Uh, it, it, it happened. Well, let's see. Let's get, let's get it. Let's see. This is oh, I thought it was Matthew. This is uh, Luke ten and verse eighteen, and he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning falling from heaven. Now this is not. Dealing with Lucifer, Lucifer being cast out or any of anything like that. The spiritual demon Satan is still in his place. He's never been cast out of heaven. He never will be cast out of heaven. He's he's he is a son of God. He's not going to be kicked out of heaven. This is speaking about the kingdom, a kingdom that was set up under the authority of the devil, Satan. And we're in that kingdom to this day, going into Revelations 20 and verse one. This is that kingdom established by Satan. That old dragon, the devil, which is Satan. I'll grab it real quick. I'll just grab it real quick so I don't even misquote it. This is Revelations 20. Revelation 20 and verse 1. And I be and and I saw another angel come down from heaven having the the key to the bottomless pit, which is Europe. A, and a great chain in his hand, because what? You Edomites were bound for a thousand years when jake came into power in the what, what is called the western roman empire when jake got up in power so-called negroes after after you know the vespasians were taken out and and taken out of power in rome so-called eastern roman empire jake was set up in power 
and you devils were really cast down for for a period up to for a thousand years all the way up to about 14 the 14th century or in the end of the 13th century uh verse verse two and and laid hold on the dragon that old serpent which is the devil and satan and bound him a thousand years so that was you and this is the same kingdom how shai is talking about in his luke 10 because you're going down fast verse 19 behold i i oh yeah that's the point that's the point yeah, you devils are going down fast man you had your time in Rome. Well, you had your time in Greece and in Rome. And now you're back again now. And your kingdom is, is collapsing. You've had three opportunities and you failed them all. You're 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 done, man. You're done. And this kingdom is not going to stand. And then just to, oh, and on that one point, back going back to the book of Revelation, these devils, just so you people know. And for you, hey, not even people, you brothers and sisters that's actually out there learning, don't get caught up in the hype of the so-called Democrats and Republicans and all that, because their work, they're the same, they're, 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 what's that saying, the same side of the same coin, something like that, but they're, they're uh, working in tandem with another, don't, don't believe the hype, man, they are working for the side of the elite, both of them. They're not, they, they, they truly aren't against each other, honestly, but they oppose sides and set and set up as they are, but they're what? They're on the same beast. This is Revelation 13 and verse 11. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth and he had two horns like a lamb and he spake as a dragon. And that's dealing with the dealing during the Roman empire, the plebeians and patricians one that was more for the poor, one, one that was more for the rich. Now you have the Democrats and Republicans. And you see the right wing, the left wing, the woke, and the and all, all that. They, they, they are on the same beast, though. They're part of the same system. The same system that is, is bred to oppress you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. This is not our rest, man. These, these, neither one of these sides support you. You, you so-called Negroes, you dumb Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because y'all get caught up in this bullshit. I'm talking about Jake and the world get caught up in this, you know, this Democrats and Republicans, and they're not for you, man. They're for your oppression. They're you, you, you Israelites. This devil is for your downfall. You have the blessing. You have the blessing. Esau is not for y'all whatsoever. So that 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 point needs to be made. But this is just a real quick video on this on this article. I was thinking about it and I just looked it up a, a article. But you you can clearly see there's a great divide in the US right now. And we haven't even got into the, you know, another divide. Well, they said it at, towards the end of this article. It says uh you know, the men and the, the gains of women have made in society have come have come to a, at the expense of men. And it has because you have this. Uh, uh, what is it? What is it called? A uh, relationship war or, or gender wars, gender wars right now. Male versus female, me, tau, all that red, red pill, blue pill, because the the this society promotes you know these these women having having liberty and it and as it came at the expense of men being put down shut down look at all the movies how men have been have been just just been made bitch made and you think these these gun ho edomites are just cool with that not at all not at all not one bit so the, the these are some of the issues and you know that that they're that that are being made talking points in this society and in the U.S. Actually, let me finish with this. This is a revelation. Not a, this is Isaiah nineteen and verse verse. Uh, I start at one. The burden of Egypt. Behold, 
the, the Lord shall ride upon a swift cloud, which is a chariot, and shall come into Egypt, which is what Matazarim, which means bondage, which is now here in America, going into Revelations third, uh, 11 and Revelation 11 and verse 8. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, and the, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst thereof. And I will set the Egyptian against the Egyptian, and they shall fight one against another one against his brother and one against his neighbor a uh, city against city kingdom against kingdom and you see that and let's jump down actually to verse uh 14 and the lord have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof and that they have caused egypt to err in every work thereof as a drunken man staggers in his vomit and this is what the lord has done to this current kingdom we're in in modern day Egypt, aka Babylon the Great, you 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 look at you. Look at look at how fucked up this place has become because of the policies and what, what things are pushed and promoted in the world. And not even in the world, in Babylon specifically. Man, you gotta really people look at Babylon. These other nations look at Babylon the Great, like what the fuck is going on over there? It's just a freak show. And it's everywhere. It's here. In, it's here in Michigan. It's here in Chicago. It's here. In is there in Texas? Is is there in New York? Is across the United States, man. Everywhere you go, there's freakism. There's disorder. There's chaos, and it, and it has a. There's. It's all going to come to a head, which is going to. It's it's talking right now, but it's going to get physical. States are talking about leaving the U.S. Succeeding if Kamala gets into office and hopefully she does, but rather it's Trump or Kamala, this shit is going to go down. There will be a civil war. There will be civil unrest. These things are going to happen. Why? Because they're prophesied. It. The prophecy of America being co coming to an end must be fulfilled and it'll be fulfilled through these plagues that the heavenly father is bringing up on earth, which are, you know, disorder, chaos, uh, 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 civil war, civil unrest, famines. These these prophecies must be fulfilled because this place will fall like Egypt, but even worse than, than before. So with that, all praise be to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Rekha and with that, Shalom.